bigger. My dad in Australia gets a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad. I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door. You coming out? One hell of a fucking story. So stay tuned. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's been a long day of filming, saved uh, this one till last. I got fighter and promoter together, former heavyweight world champion Joseph Park and his promoter Ben Shalom. Uh, how did you find that today, guys? Very interesting. Very interesting. What about your point of view? It was good fun. Was good. I enjoyed it, to be honest. It was, um, they looked after as well, didn't they? Yeah, and, yeah. and also Joe Joyce is very awkward. <laughs> Awkwardly funny, sort of not funny, but yeah. different. It was a strange press conference, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you and Joe, both, this was going to be a nightmare, when both the Joes were going at it, it seemed like there was needle from what had happened before, but you're two nice guys, so it was never going to kick off, kick off. But there is a little bit of animosity uh, between you two because of what's happened. I feel like there's more frustration. And there's a lot of things that have been said about myself and David Higgins and our team. But to be honest, I'm very happy that I've signed with boxer, thanks to Ben, and also Sky, who I've worked with in the past and who I trust and who has made me their fighter. I don't want to be the B fighter who'd be treated like someone who, you know, fight this person and all of a sudden win, be the B fighter again and be B the fighter again. So, and also be trapped. You know, I have the, you know, with, with boxer and Sky, I have this fight and then there's a rematch clause because they need one because when they get beat, they're going to have to fight me again in December. On Sky. On Sky. Ben, can I ask you, uh, I'll ask you as well, Joseph, in a second. Frank was quite vocal about the fact that you guys had nowhere else to go, so you had to come to BT and fight Joe Joyce. Uh, do you want to address that, make a comment on that? No, he knows that that's not true. I think, to be honest, you, I think you miss... I don't think Frank's trying to say that. I think he knows that this was the fight that Joseph wanted. We could have fought plenty of other guys, but this was the one where everything's on the line. This is the one where it gets him closer to world titles. So it was obviously going to be the fight that we wanted. That's why we made the big offer in the in the first place. But thankfully, um, everyone was sensible in the end. I think the key was for, for Joseph. We get in and uh, we get out and there's no extras and there's no options and there's no extensions and things like that. And I'm... Fair enough, George Warren's been brilliant to, for me, from a personal perspective, has been good to work with and we got it done. And I think it's good for boxing that ourselves, I think what's come from this is that there is a relationship, there is a communication line open with myself and George and it means that big fights can get done. And uh, this was always going to be the one that Parker, what Joseph wanted, because why wouldn't he? he he's all wrong for Joe Joyce and it means that world titles are on the horizon. Joe, you come from a, a fighting proud heritage, a uh, Samoan heritage. See, New Zealand, you represent as your country as well. Over the last couple of months, the British fans uh, took a slightly different view to you. We know you're a very popular man here. Uh, you're also like a fellow Brit, as I keep saying to you. But during that time, um, there were suggestions that you didn't actually want to fight Joe Joyce. Um, so what was that like for yourself? And, uh, there's a lot of talk and a lot of people saying this and saying that, but I didn't pay it any attention. My focus was to work with Boxer and Sky to make the fight happen, which, listen, if it wasn't for Boxer and Sky to move to BT, this fight wouldn't happen. It just shows that other fights can be made if you're signed with different networks, you know, and this is a perfect example of it. So it's a fight that I always wanted and people can say what they want, but here we are now because it's the fight I wanted, it's the fight Sky Boxer wanted, it's the fight that, you know, Joe Joyce wanted. That's what that's what that's what annoy does the most is Joseph Parker's never ducked anyone. You can see that his whole career. And this fight is perfect for him, timing wise, what's on the line, styles, everything. So why would he not want this fight? He just wanted it on the on the right terms for him and the right things for him and he's got that now and unbelievably excited to get over the line. It's a massive opportunity. And uh, September twenty fourth I think people be in for a surprise. And you said uh, earlier in this interview that they've only done the rematch clause because, in your opinion, they're not confident? Yes, they're worried. We don't have a rematch clause, do we? No. He's not even mandatory at the moment. He's just no. been number one yeah. for a long time. And that's the credit to him for putting it up because a lot of people can wait and wait for the mandatory and fight the champion. But it's the, it's the fight we both wanted. I don't need a rematch clause. I just need one fight to smash him and then 
if he wants a rematch clause, we can do it again. Do you give him credit though? Because as you said, he is number one with the WBO. So there have been fighters in the past who have just waited it out. Um, he is fighting one of the best in the world, a former heavyweight world champion, when he doesn't have to. Um, so is there respect and credit there? It's respect and a lot of credit. And again, just like to thank everyone involved to make this fight happen. Because a lot of people are saying it's not going to happen. But listen, thanks to, to Ben and David Higgins and everyone else, BT, Frank Warren, even if Frank did like me, didn't like me, now sort of likes me again, I think. It's, uh, it's a fight that we both want and I, it makes it an exciting fight. Because he wants to win, I want to win badly as well. And whoever loses, it's quite a tough road back, I think. Should Tyson Fury fight again, I'm sure you and Frank Warren be pals again. I'm sure it'll be all, all okay. We're pals now, <laughs> you know. I call him Uncle Frank. Your Uncle Frank. Okay, well, listen, Joseph Parker, as I said to you earlier uh, in our first interview, best of luck for your camp. We will see you in Manchester on fight week. I will leave the, a final word uh, with yourself about this box office fight. Uh, what can the UK fans and the fans tuning around the world expect? Listen, I appreciate the fans from New Zealand, Samoa, from the UK. For, listen, I feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm in a strange place and they can expect a fantastic fight. The battle of the Joes. Who's the right Joe? And I'm the right Joe. A final review, Ben. Uh, good to see two major promotional outfits working together. Yeah, 100%. I think uh, boxing can go in like one or two ways now. There's broadcasters, there's promoters, there's a lot of competition. So fights can easily not get made and it could get worse and worse. So I think when it makes sense, fights need to happen. The sport needs to come first. Fans need to come first. And I want to thank Sky for obviously allowing this to happen and allowing me to, to put this fight on. And, uh, and long may it continue. And hopefully it's going to work all different ways. And obviously it's not going to happen every week. But when it's there and when it needs to happen, it should happen. And we want to be different in the sport. Sometimes it's difficult because you work with promoters and they, uh, they're stuck in one way of doing things. And they, that's the way they've learned and that's the way they operate and that's the way they deal with each other. We're trying to go in there with open mind, obviously open eyes as well, but um, this one came about and obviously thanks to George and it's happened and we've got a massive fight. Ben Shalom, Joseph Parker, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and roll on September 24th. Yeah, I put my dad in the street against a heavyweight. I've gone back to the dad, I've punched him a few more times. Five blokes outside my front door, you coming out. One hell of a fucking story, so stay tuned. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Hour. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.